Bitcoin vs. Ethereum Community split between cap supply and deflationary model Bitcoin proponents argued that Ether's monetary policy has changed at least seven times while BTC has seen zero changes. News own this piece of history collect this article as an NFT Bitcoin, BTC, and Ether, ETH. The top two cryptocurrencies by market capitalization have always been pitted against each other. With the start of the new year, the first debate has surfaced comparing BTC's capped supply of 21 million and ETH's deflationary supply and which of the two qualifies as more sound money. An Ethereum focused Twitter handle called Ultra Sound Money compared the issuance supply of both crypto and suggested that if capped supply of BTC is sound, then decreasing supply ETH is ultra sound. The comparison between the two didn't sit well with Bitcoin proponents who were quick to point out that soundness comes from the credibility of the monetary policy and not an ever-changing one. Dan Held, a popular Bitcoin proponent pointed out the flaw in the argument and noted that a constantly changing one has less credibility. He said another Bitcoin proponent questioned the credibility of Ethereum's monetary policy, reminding that the same monetary policy has changed at least 11 times in its seven years of existence. On the other hand, Bitcoin has not changed its monetary policy in double the time F has existed. Ether became deflationary in August 2021 with the introduction of the Ethereum Improvement Proposal, EIP, 1559. The upgrade introduced a burn mechanism that automatically burns a portion of the transaction. Follow the URL for the full article. For more on this story, visit the news article link.